Hello guys, it's your boy Camille Ninja and today we're Hello. Really watching I was destroyed by comments online. This is a very serious subject, okay? My name is Brenda, and I have never thought Ligma. that I could find myself in such a situation. I hate conflicts, and I have always tried to give everyone a you know, just some advice. If you hate conflicts, maybe conflict hates you. Little trouble as possible, but once I became a victim of okay, don't you say everyone gives you cyberbullying, and it was a nightmare. I had heard about cyberbullying before, and I thought those were just first world problems. Yep. If you don't like Probably. someone's comments on social media, just block them and go offline. After all, Good sticks advice. and stones can break your bones, but words can never hurt you. That's what I thought. And also, I had no idea that it could touch me in any way. I'm kind of shy and uh, not very social. I am exactly one of those people who don't Okay, comment if you took notice. that journey. Well, it's not cool, and I know it, but I uh, hate attention. But once, here, I got saying. too much of this attention and didn't know how to handle it properly. It all started at school during the lunch break when I suddenly started chatting with one of my schoolmates. We were in the same sociology class. He turned out to be quite honestly. smart and we had some topics in common. So it was a pleasant conversation. For me, it was a new emotion, as I normally am the most silent person in class. Don't think I was in love with him or something. He was just a nice person. After break, we went to our classes, and the episode was over. Sounds like a normal so I thought. Day, At the end of the day, I was yeah, approached by that boy's girl. girlfriend. Her name was Liz and her friends. They literally cornered me, and she started shouting at me that I was trying to steal her boyfriend. Okay, number one, if my girlfriend... If if I, if I get a girlfriend, which I never will, anyway, okay, never mind, I will get a girlfriend, anyways, but if I ever get a girlfriend like this, it's, it's, it's a game over. I hate confrontation, and I was pretty scared. Those allegations were so absurd. Look, I said. I have no intentions of stealing your boyfriend. I don't even like him. This seemed to irritate her even more, and the situation was getting out of control. I thought that it would tone her down a little bit if I said, look, even if I liked him. You know, Ellie girl thought she, that's how, that's how boys are when it comes to the girlfriend. He obviously doesn't like me, the right? That was a mistake. She got furious and said, that better for me not to be seen near him, never, ever. Otherwise, Nothing. She didn't specify what would happen otherwise, and after this threat, left me alone. I was exhausted. Conflicts tire oh, me a lot, died. but it all seemed to end up well, and I got home relieved. I checked all my social media accounts. Even if I am pretty shy in real life, I overcome it when I am online. I have many contacts there, friends and Holy followers, crap. and I enjoy chatting with them. In a couple of hours, something strange started happening. I started at once getting lots of nasty comments from anonymous, freshly created accounts. They commented my pictures and posts, calling me names and saying I was fat, ugly, and stupid. I blocked them at once. Although they were anonymous, I figured out at once who it could be. Liz is the only person I had a conflict with. But, of course blocking didn't solve anything. There were more new accounts who came to insult me. Liz mobilized all her friends. I had to close all the accounts from public. For the day, it ended. Next day at school, I saw Liz, who didn't show a sign that she was involved somehow in that story. I had to face her and ask what she thought she was doing. She appeared surprised and assured me that she had no idea what I was talking about. So false! But I had no proofs. However, I thought I had solved the problem for the time being by making my accounts private. Sure. When I came home, I found out that my friends started receiving nasty messages about me from the anonymous accounts. It was horrible! Of course my good friends ignored and blocked them, but there were lots of people who didn't know me well, and who knows what they could think about me. This time the offenses were more elaborate. Those were gossips about me doing horrible stuff, like being a school bully, stealing things from classmates, shoplifting, etc. Of course, all these things made I up. I had to report those users for cyberbullying, and they were blocked. But my bullies created new accounts. The worst thing Way was that first, dedication. they didn't seem to stop, and second, they always created new ways to torture me. Once I found the entire haters Her meme should be why you bully me. I'm just saying. community dedicated to me. There were pictures of me from school, 
reports on what I was doing, and all this with their sarcastic comments. Okay, this one you called the police for stalking. I'm just saying. I felt cornered. I couldn't feel safe at school and felt that someone was watching me all the time. Liz and her friends were looking at me and cackling all the time, but pretended not to understand what I was talking about when I faced them. Some of them even expressed their sympathy. Blocking the group didn't help. They created a new one at once. Of course, I could do something. Close all social accounts, for example, and go offline for a while. I tried, but I didn't manage for longer than a day. All my social life was in the internet, and I needed to control all the things haters wrote about me. Going to my parents or teachers didn't seem an option for me. I would be bullied even more after that, and I had no proofs those for Liz and her friends. And I hated the idea they would read those dirty things about me. I was ashamed. So I just started skipping lessons, especially those where I could meet Liz and her boyfriend. I arrived to the end of the year totally just stop and get some help, bullies, actually destroyed psychologically and with miserably low marks. I missed too many classes and hardly managed to pass my exams. At some point, my parents decided to find out what happened to me, and I had to admit that I was cyberbullied. I still said that I had no idea who that was, not to stick in further conflicts, and just begged them to let me change the school. After all, it worked out fine for me. I changed school and it all finished. I still remember it as the lowest point of my life. And now, thinking it over, I think I should have shared it with an adult and tried yeah, to find the solution. Well, so. You don't need to waste several months of your life waiting that it finishes. Most no, probably no. it will not. So my advice in this case would be to speak up. Cyberbullying is a thing, and maybe you know someone who doesn't know how to deal with it. Share this video, spread a word, and subscribe to get more stories like mine. Well, guys, that is it for the video, and if you enjoyed it, leave a like! That's all I have for today. Please hit that like, subscribe button, and if you were kind enough, Follow me on Instagram, which is 2 million ninja. And thank you for everything, guys. Thank you for watching, and please like. Wait, wait, is that 10 minute mark? But you know what it is. Fortnite Friday. No, it's really Thursday, but still, I don't really care. You may say, am I trying to hit? Oh, ah, uh, I know where you guys are looking right now. I know where you are. Anyways, that's all for today, so adios amigos.